Hello, hello, everybody. Good afternoon to you dads, fathers out there. I'm Hi, Chris. everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Hello, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Keep forgetting to put myself on mute. <laughs> Well, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to you fathers, dads, uncles, brothers, aunts, whatever your title is. If you take care of a young one or an older one and you're in that role, happy Father's Day to you. To those of you that belong to the Pride community, yes, happy Pride Month. I know nobody really talks about that a whole lot, but it's everywhere. Folks are just aren't talking about it. So I decided to, okay? So I am Pam, for those of you who are here for the first time. I like to clear my hair and laugh a lot when I'm nervous. <laughs> and that's one of them. But I am Pam, and if this is the first time that you're coming here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Pam Fam. Over here, we like to talk about fragrances, beauty, a little bit of makeup. Lately, I've been doing some vlogs. You know, we just like having a good time over here at the Pam Fam. So if this is your first time here, you're in for a lot of fun. Yes, you are. So get yourself a drink. I have me a drink from Tropical. What is it? Tropical Cafe. That's what I'm drinking. And so you can drink whatever you want, <laughs> including water, because it's hot as heck outside. And let's get ready to have a great, great time. I post videos pretty much at least two or three videos a week. And I also do lives sometimes at least one, but sometimes two to three lives, depending on what's going on. And I also do premieres. And the reason I do that is because I love communicating with you guys, whether it's you talking in the comments or whatnot. And when we do premiere videos, I get a chance to do so as well. Okay. So when you see premieres, log on to that because we're talking in the chat. All right, let's see who's in the house today. We have, ooh. Oh, and guys, my eyes have been red and I'm sniffing a lot because I've got really, really bad allergies. Hi, Tala. Hey, Talia, not Tala, but Talia Johnson. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Hi, Shilpa. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Beauty Flash. <laughs> I am here now. Hello, Filmy Zone. Hi, Jackie. Hello, hello. Yes, this is such a special day. It is indeed. Is there any big sale on here? I'm not doing any sales today, but one is coming soon. I'm getting ready to move. Susanna, I'm getting ready to move. And so I'm going to be letting go of some fragrances that I don't want to take with me to the next journey because actually, you know, I'm actually, you know, trying to buy more. <laughs> All right. Hello, Joni. Hi, hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Hi. I like your name. My passions is do come close to you. Okay. <laughs> Harry. Yay. Hi, Harry. Hi, Sadia. Hello, hello. Hi, Siobhan. Oh, thank you so much. You are new. Oh, oh thank you, Siobhan. I'm so glad you came. Your friend's right. <laughs> we have a lot of fun over here. Hi, Soprato. Hello. Hi, Freckle. Oh, love to sing and make up. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds like a channel. So more than likely, I'll be checking you out too. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, sweetheart. Hello, hello. I'm so glad to see you. Hi, Priya. Hello. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, guys, I'm so glad to see you all here today. Oh, I always get happy to see. <laughs> I'm happy to see everybody, but every because he is so far over the pond, like a lot of you. So, oh my God, so happy to see you. Happy Father's Day, everyone, and happy Pride Month. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all check out my earrings. Yes. And my bracelet and the necklace. And my, and my cardigan. This is the old BCBG cardigan. Okay. Hello. I'm representing. All right. <laughs> I love color. I love color. I'm a colorful person. So obviously I love colorful people as well. Yes. Happy Father's Day to all of you beautiful, wonderful fathers that are doing the right thing. Yes. Hi, Beauty Flash. Oh, hi, FOC Gaming. Good to see you too. Good to see you too. 
Let's see. Oh, hi, Lindsay. Hi, fam. Hi, JC. JC, did you see the, well, you did see the video because you joined the, um, the premiere yesterday. So you did see the comparison video. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked it. I was thinking about you. <laughs> oh, thank you, babe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Tosh. Hey, Filmy Zone. Oh, my God. D'Angelo, hey. Oh, my God. This is going to be good. This is going to be real good. Hey, Cynthia. Hi. Oh, guys, I am so happy to see y'all. I don't know what it is. When I see y'all, I get so giggly and happy and stuff. And I'm sniffling. I'm sorry about that. Let's see, did I miss anyone? I love the Chia Banana Boost. From oh, I haven't had that. Okay, I'm going to try that next. This one is the Banana Mama, I think is what it's called. Bahama Mama. So, normally from Tropical Cafe, I have the same, literally the same. I like the jerk chicken one, but my favorite is the one my daughter gets, which is... Uh, the other chicken wrap and the Bahama mama. And she gets that all the time. And I was filming a vlog today and I pulled up to Bahama mama and my daughter's friend works there and stuff like that. So it was just really cool. I love that stuff. And they know my order. <laughs> they know my order by heart. Oh my gosh. Oh, first time. Oh yes. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun. You are going to have a lot of fun. I am going, I hope you enjoy yourself, but I think you will have a lot of fun. Yes, Talia is saying hi and happy Father's Day to everyone. I love saying that. I called my hubby. We did a FaceTime earlier today. Hello, Susanna. Hey. Oh, let me see. I like your name and I don't want to mess it up. So, Sijuska? Is that how you say it? Or she? Is it Sijuska or Sijuska? I like your name. I love names. The problem is I can't, I can't always like, um, you know, pronounce them right. I try really hard, but sometimes, you know, it's not, it's not always real. It's not very good. <laughs> hey, Jody. All right, guys. So we've got quite a bit of people here in the chat. Some of you, you know, you don't come on the chat and that's perfectly fine too. It would be great for you to join the chat, but I understand you just like sitting back and watching and I'm perfectly happy with that. So let's make sure that I can see everyone. Yes, I did say, I want to make sure I say hi to everyone, guys. I like saying hi to everyone. Shilpa, I like your name too. Guys, you guys got some really unique and really lovely names. I love it. And the spelling as well. Okay, I love it. Love the uniqueness. So during yesterday's, um, let's start off by, you know, my outfit is real colorful and crazy. Look at my tights. They're heels. <laughs> Hold on, let me stand up. So it's a cardigan, right? It's a cardigan and you can wear it back to front. So you can wear this turned around and you can wrap it in the back as such, right? And create like a, your back is out. So this, your back would be out. You could wear it like this. And how I tend to wear this because it's nice and thin is I tend to wear it like so. That's how I wear this, okay? And these tights, I forgot the name of the company, but they're, oh my God, they're like butter. I have a whole bunch of these things. Um, God, I can't remember the name of the company, but it's one of those, you know, where wives and stuff are selling clothes. It's kind of like, it's just a basic workout tank that's nice and soft as well. So I want to be comfortable today. And of course, I don't know the name of this unit I'm wearing, but she's giving me life. And then I picked up these beautiful earrings. Here we go. Here we go right and they're basically hoops and they've got like love in cubes you can't see it because what happens is as i come in close to the camera does not zoom in where you could see and if i try to zoom you in i have a problem okay so but they're hoops they're basic hoops and then of course my necklace and i was saying earlier this bracelet and this is by betsy johnson you can find this at target i think this is like 14 or 15 dollars or less okay and this is probably about the same, this necklace, another upstart type company where, you know, um, it's like most of the people are selling jewelry and stuff like that. You go to the beauty store, you know, to get your hair done at the beauty salon and stuff. And I like to buy things off of that because, you know, it's a source of income for those people. So I like to help them because when I start my source of income, I want to be helped too. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. And because I get, look, I'm getting hot. 
two fans are on. It is crazy hot outside, crazy hot outside. So I brought with me my Beauty Bakery powder. So when you guys and my La Mer brush, and already, look at that, already I have to, I have to block. Cheese you eat. It is hot, 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 and my lashes falling off. So let's get, that's a sign, get started, okay? Ooh, I'm gonna put my fan on, guys. Let's see here. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Gorgeous stuff I have for you today. A lot of the fragrances that I have are unisex based fragrances or fragrances in my collection that I think that you could wear um, men or women or non-binary, whomever you are, anyone can wear it, okay? And so it's not too floral to me. They're not too masculine. I brought these two right here, which belongs to hubby. And I've got one, two, I got quite a few of them his fragrances. So I'm going to gloss over those because I've done videos like those in the past, but this is kind of ideas for you guys. If you haven't bought a Father's Day present yet, because I know I'm behind the curveball with that. I mean, today's Father's Day, but it's fragrances that if you have a man or a woman or someone that likes more masculine, what is termed more masculine leaning fragrances, in my opinion, those may be high in a certain type of ingredient. It might be really heavily aquatic or stuff like that. And those, I would get bored real quick with that. You know, I would get bored if something is just too one thing. So I like to mix it up. Okay. So let me put this hair in the back because I'm burning up, y'all. For real, for real. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put her up in a ponytail because I'm hot and we ain't even like 30 minutes in. Woo! And bring these Puma shoes down. There we go. All right, your girl ready. Boobies out. Hold on, let me fix these. <laughs> All right, so I've got stuff from Tom Ford. I've got some from, you know, this this line right here. I've only seen it at um, TJ Maxx. And it's, to be quite honest with you, it's I've only seen it there. And I think that it's an inexpensive fragrance that's really, it's it's, it's slightly gourmand-ish um, because it has a sort of a sweet, it's sweet and spicy. And this is called Fujiyama, right? And it's Fujiyama Gentleman. See that? And I like the bottle. I saw it, said, oh, oh, thank you, thank you. I did a video, I just filmed a video while I was trying to get this look. The video is about getting ready in like, you know, 10 minutes. And um, I, I showed how I get the hair to be shiny, you know, um, because there's a little, it's a small process and it's real easy. And I learned it by watching watching my, uh, my girlfriend, Melissa, she's a stylist. And I watched her, how she does hair and stuff. And it's just a simple, you know, and you'll see the technique. But basically it's just you spray stuff on a brush and you smooth it down. Point blank period, that's it. It ain't all that complicated, okay? All right, so this is Fujiyama Gentleman. Guys, this is really sweet and spicy. One of the things that I really enjoy about, I'm not gonna spray on my skin today. Like I said, my allergies have been going crazy. I won't say I'm not gonna spray on my skin because I'm addicted to fragrance and I like to spray on my skin. But when when I smell this, initial, oh, there we go. This is so inexpensive. And to me, it is so good. Mm. And you cannot overspray this because it doesn't last. My hubby says it doesn't last very long, like long on his skin, like 10, you know, 10 hours and stuff, because he does work very long hours. But when you respray or when you layer it on top of, like let's just say five hours later, you put a little bit more on, it's nice. It still has it has a fresh, spicy slightly aquatic, almost gourmandish, like I was saying, because I thought I was getting like a coffee note, but it changes very quick to something sweeter, almost like um, like a sweet tobacco. Let's see, did I miss anyone coming in? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Shipa. Conscious consumerism. <laughs> That's right. That's so right. Oh my God, from Spain, hi. Hello, thank you so much. Mm. OMG, guys, this is beautiful. This is Fujiyama Gentleman. 
guys, inexpensive. I don't know. I think in London it's a BJ Maxx, but I got this at TJ Maxx, and I think you could find these fragrances fragrances at Ross. If you go TJ Maxx online, you could also find it there. But let's see here if I can pull the notes up for you. Here we go. I just put an F U and it pulled up. Wow. F U J and it pulled up. So this is I, I was right. It's got cinnamon, it's powdery, musky. Um, it's got lavender in it. It's warm, spicy. It really is a pretty scent. I love smelling it on my hubby. And I think the cinnamon notes is what pulls through that I was talking about smelling sort of foodie. Oh, yes. That lavender also. It gives me a little bit of Mon, Mon Guerlain when I smell when I saw lavender in the notes. It gives me a little bit of Mon Guerlain. But OMG, the male version. Actually, I could wear this too. If I wanted to make uh, Mongolon like last longer, like if you, I don't have a problem with Mongolon lasting very long though. So if you have a problem with Mongolon lasting as long as you need it to, something like that with more lavender in it, more cinnamon in it. It's got musky, it's got woody nose. I think that's a great layer in fragrance for that fragrance. Fujiyama, yeah, that's a good, it's a good combination, I think. So that's our first one. Let's move on to the next because we've got a lot, guys. The next one I want to talk about is, let's see here. Okay. Now, this fragrance here is Gucci. And this is Gucci Guilty. And this is the one that's, the. there we go. You can see the red. When it's like this, you can barely see that it's red. But it's a red bottle. This is a good one for the summer. You know, when you look at this, because of the bottle and the, the, the packaging, you would think that this one here is the uh, like a winter fragrance because the packaging is dark and stuff. But to be honest with you, it's a beautiful fragrance. It's rose. I think it's rose based. Mm. But I really like this as well. When I wore this and I sprayed some on hubby's arm, this is a while ago when I had first gotten this. And he was like, oh, that's really nice. I'm like, yeah, that's Gucci. He's like, oh, and he saw the bottle. So he thought it was, you know, a, a, a guy's fragrance. But it's, to me, it's the perfect unisex fragrance. And as you can see, I have gone through uh, almost half of this. So this is one of the Gucci's. I've only got like three, two or three left. And this is one of the two or three I've got left. See, everybody's saying hello to each other. <laughs> Let's see here. So this one here. I don't know if they're still selling it. So I was a little perplexed bringing it on today because I wasn't I wasn't sure. This is called a Black Poor Femme. And it's sweet, it's fruity, it's got some soft spiciness. It's also got freshness to it. I wear this. The majority of times when I pull this out, guys, to wear, it's during the summer. It's got some red berries in it pink pepper, raspberry, peach. So it's got a lot of fruits and berries in there. And at the end, it's got patchouli rounding it off as well as amber and caramel. So it's a good, in my in my opinion, a good structured fragrance. And it smells different than the one that's in the gold bottle in that it's got more fruitiness to it. The gold and the, the ones in the gold bottle is, were a little sharp for me. So this one here, I think it's a great fragrance. Or it's a great unisex fragrance. It says Pork Femme, but I think it's a great unisex fragrance. And that is Gucci Guilty Pork Femme. So let's move on to the next. Let's see if we have any questions. Did I miss any questions? Let's see here with Gucci. Products are going to take extra than deserve. Yes, you're right. Right. Sometimes they ask too much for it <laughs> but this you can find in the discount stores you can find these in the discount stores so you don't need to purchase you don't need to purchase at full price in my opinion you shouldn't okay the next fragrance I have here is a gentleman's fragrance and it's a gentleman's fragrance I hope he ain't is he on here let me check to see if my husband's on here <laughs> I sneak a, I sneak a couple, you know. <laughs> I bought this. We met the perfumer for this. This is Fougere Royale. Is that how you say Royale? Without the E on the end. I'll tell you the notes. Fougere Royale, this was by Ubergant and it came out in 2010. 
my dears. <laughs> we met the perfumer in San Francisco. Oh my gosh. I'm looking to see if their names are on there, but they had actually in this, um, signed and you can't see it. They, his, I bought one perfume and my husband bought, no, let me get that right. When we were in San Francisco, it was my first time there. And we stayed on the street that goes down like this, like it's a steep, steep street. And then Neiman Marcus and all of that fancy stuff down in the center. And we went into the store and they were there, the perfumer. And they signed the bottle. I said, hey, it's my husband's birthday. We're here for a football game. And they signed the bottle. And you could still see a little bit. Can you see it? It's right there. You can still see the, the silver paint from the, what they signed his on. On mine, I was using that perfume so much that, that the writing came off of mine. But his smells really good. And after all these years, all these years, it's this this year, I wear it just a little bit. You know, when I'm missing my hubby, <laughs> I wear it just a little bit. But guys, this is a very, very strong fragrance. It can, if you put too much, you don't need a lot with this. As clear and as, you know, it looks like light. It's no, it's a beast. It is a complete unadulterated beast, in my opinion. This also has lavender. It's heavy in the lavender. It's heavy in the green note. Chamomile, bergamot. It's got geranium, carnation, cinnamon, rose. It's got a lot of ingredients, a lot of notes. But one of the notes that I like on this one a lot is the oak moss and the tonka bean. It, it's just very well blended and it lasts. This is, this fragrance is 10 years old. This bottle is 10 years old. And as you can see, he barely uses it and because you don't need a lot. When he sprays it, if he puts too much on it, I can get a headache, you know, but it smells still smells really good. The way he stores it. Now I, I moved it to the bathroom. But um, when we move to the house, um, the next house, I'm going to store it with my stuff so it's out of sunlight because this is a 10-year-old bottle and it's not even, it's a little darker than the original, but it's not even that dark. You see what I'm saying? And the bottle, the design of the bottle, I really like that. Really simple, but really, in my opinion, very, um, very nice. I like it a lot. I really, really do. So that's Fougère Royale by Ubigon. I think I pronounced that correctly. Yes. Excuse me. It is a, it's not a designer. It's, um, I think Ubigon, that's all they make is fragrances. So I want to say this is actually a fragrance house. So this could be considered, I think this is niche, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think Ubigon is a designer because I don't recall seeing clothes or anything with their name on it. It's just, or shoes. I've just seen perfume. So I think that they're a niche house. Now, this is designer. <laughs> this is Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Hubby bought this. I want to say he's had this also for 10 years or longer. <laughs> and I would say that it doesn't smell as great as it did originally. Um, it has a slightly, and I mean slightly, sour note to it when I smell it. And I don't know if this has plum or what, but it has like a like a salty, sour. Let me see what it's got in it. I don't know. Do you, do any of you have that? It doesn't, mm, this one is the one gentleman. It has like a, almost like, I'm thinking, there's a prune in Trinidad. It's called sweet and sour prune. And it's like, it's a, a prune that's dried up and preserved. And that's what it's reminding me of. Now the picture here shows the bottle. The, the juice is a little lighter than this. But like I said, he's had this for, 10 years and it happens to be one of the fragrances that a lot of people actually really like it was very 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 popular very popular but the note based on this one is a lot 
less than others. You know, like we gone had what uh, 10, 5, 10, 15, 15 notes to it. This one has vanilla, patchouli, lavender. Again, a lot of male fragrances or fragrances cater to men has lavender on it. Cardamom, watercress. Watercress is like um like lettuce you know, and pepper. And that's it with this one. But I still get that sweet and sour note from the fragrance that, from the prune, yeah. That's what it's, it's giving me. Which I actually, I could sit and eat a whole bag of those things. It's Chinese prunes from Trinidad. That's what I'm getting with this. So it could be the mixture of the patchouli and stuff like that that's giving me that vibe. Let's see here. I'm missing some comments. I'm so sorry. Oh! July 17, 20, will you be there by them? Mm, I will be in, I will be here in Oklahoma. Houston is, Houston is far from me because it's on the other direction. So Houston is three and a half hours from Colleen. We're four and a half hours from Colleen. And then Houston is going in the opposite direction. So it's further, it's further to the right. You know, I think Mandy Glam is in Houston as well. I think uh, Keitra might be in Houston as well. Hi, Teresa. Hi. Yes, we'll be gone. Mm -hmm. Marilyn, I think, yeah, I'll be here. We leave, um, I start clearing like soon. <laughs> <laughs> and when I clear, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. The next one I have, this is a little more pricier. And this is not a little more. This is a lot more pricier. This, oh my gosh. I had to stop myself from wearing it as much as I'm wearing it. This is Carnal Flower by the House of... <clears throat> Let me see, can we read it? By Frederick Mao, and the perfumer is Dominique Rupion. I am finding out that I might be a fan of Mr. Rupion. I think I might be because initially, all his fragrances that I smell so far, initially I'm kind of taken aback because it has like that tuberose vibe to it where it's, it's, it's sweet and it's kind of like, I get like a rounded effect immediately, but... When they hit you, baby, when it sits on your skin, that's all she wrote, you know. And Dominique Rupion, I think a lot of his fragrances has um, uh, tuberose, tuberose in it. Let's see here. Oh, one is coming very soon. One is coming very soon. As a matter of fact, I filmed one, another one. My glasses fell, excuse me. I filmed another one today, another Get Ready With Me today, but I have one coming very soon. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that because I never know if those are the videos that you guys want to see because I know you like fragrances. So I never know if, you know, like my makeup collection, you know, one or two people might ask and I do it and then I hardly get any views or it might take, it might be slow to take off, you know. And I am trying to be a lot more conscious, like Moshino said, much more conscious with my purchases um, because if I'm telling you to buy stuff and then I only wear it once or I only use it once and I'm like, oh, this is great. This is, I'm not going to do that. So everything that I'm trying to be a lot more conscious, I'm not just buying stuff just for the heck of buying it, just for the heck of owning it, nothing like that. So I'm trying to be a little more conscious. I keep using the word conscious in addition to fiscally responsible because I have a lot of stuff going on and I have, you know, my family is getting older and I'm one of the older kids. So you know what that means? We take care of our, we have to, that's what we do. Um, so I have to think in that respect. And then also, you know, as I'm getting older, I have to think about my future and whatnot and collecting three, four, five, six, seven hundred 700 bottles of perfume just doesn't make any sense whatsoever because there's going to be a whole year that I don't get to one and that's already happening. So I have to curb myself, push, like I said earlier in the year, push what I'm not utilizing out and um, move on from there. So yes, with the, with the videos, because of COVID, I can't really, I don't know if I'm going to sell some of my makeup or how I'm going to do it, but I'm, I'm pulling my stuff out, girl. Yes, Bria, I am pulling out my stuff. So you will see more of those. I'm going to try and incorporate some of those into my fragrance. I used to do that a while ago. I'm going to start back doing some of that again, incorporating fragrance into makeup. 
Oh, Beauty Queen. Beauty Queen next for that. I'm sorry. I said three, yeah. <laughs> Me. I, I, everything in my closet. I haven't bought clothes clothes in a long time. Everything in my closet is at least a year old. Or two. <laughs> or ten. <laughs> I've had this for a long time and I mix and match everything isn't set for one thing like I would wear um, a gown if it's not too sequiny and stuff like that I would wear a gown with some tennis shoes tennis um, I've done that before I've gone to the commissary that's where we shop for food but I don't go to the commissary morning but the grocery store you know and I don't go to the grocery store as much my husband does a lot of the food shopping but I, I tend to try and pull my things out. I'm in uniform for so long, so I would never get an opportunity to wear my clothing if I don't wear it. And so Sundays used to be the only time I got to dress up. So now I pull things out. And if it's if it looks like a, a pajama, it could be a pajama, I'll wear it and see if it's comfortable for sleep. And if it's not comfortable for sleep, and if it's pajama pants and it looks like I can wear it outside, I will wear it outside. I, I mix my things up. Um, I just, I cannot, I think because of, and I, I don't want to say this in a bad way, but I think for somehow with our consumer, you know, the prices of everything, Chanel has increased their price. Louis Vuitton has increased their price. Christina Vuitton has increased their price. Gucci has increased it. Hermes have increased, every one of those high end designers have increased their price points. They, some of them have had two price increases. Chanel had two last year. They've increased their prices for their products. You used to buy, you used to be able to buy a Speedy, a Speedy, a Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 used to be $600. It used to be $600. A Speedy is no longer $600. In fact, the little pochette is now probably close to 600 I mean, it's getting ridiculous. So, and we're the ones that are making them feel like they can do that and that's not right you know what i'm saying that is absolutely not right the only time you should be paying over a thousand dollars for louis vuitton or gucci or anything like that is when they're limited edition pieces but every collection can't be limited edition it just isn't like that if you look in 2005 2006 look back and you'll see 2004 2005 i bought my perfect speedy in two and it's a limited edition piece mind you i bought that in 2006 2007 right and that right now is probably triple the price if they were to make it and sell it right now. You know what I'm saying? And you know that it's getting crazy because you have the real, real, you have Tradesy, you have all of these other stores that have now popped up selling luxury goods. Even Dillard's, when you walk through Dillard's in Oklahoma City, they have a table and it has, you know, those security loops with Louis Vuitton on the table and Gucci and, um, Tom Ford and stuff like that. So the point is that there is no need, if you're going to resell it as a reuser in Dillard's, what's the point in me going to the store and buying it full price? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to buy it, you know, because I do like small other goods, you know. Look, I love Louis Vuitton. I really do. But I just cannot with the full price. I cannot with the full price. Not to mention the quality has gone down. I have taken three pieces back to Louis Vuitton to have them work on it. One of them was limited edition and it fell apart and it was the imprint and it fell apart and we took it and they could not fix it. And so they no longer make that color, right? So I had to do with another one. So my husband picked up another wallet, which I showed in a video with Asaneo. And I was kind of like, I was perplexed about that. You know, the quality has gone down where things used to be handmade and had so much, you know, the Q&A, quality and control, QC, the process, nothing would leave those factories in the conditions that they're leaving them in now. What the heck? Even a pair of Christian Louboutin shoes I purchased, those supposed to be, I mean, the, 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 the red, the heel, brand new, mind you, from the boutique, was separating Valentino's. You know, it got a, I, I bumped my foot, my husband, no, my husband, <clears throat> it fell off the shelf or something like that, and it got a nick on it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You know, so I say all of that to say I am being a little more conscious with where I spend my money and how I spend my money. And I want quality 
And I don't want you raising the price just because, because the quality of the materials didn't go up. So, right? Okay. All right. So <laughs> that's my little, my little rant. <laughs> my little rant. Oh gosh. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Okay. Okay. Yesterday, I will. I will do more perfume videos. I have quite a few topics that I want to do. 10 out of 10 in your dress and sense. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know if you're able to pull it right now, but if you look up 2000, between 2000, um, and 2006 is when I started looking at Louis Vuitton and a speedy used to be six, it was speedy used to be at a 595 or 695 that's how much a speedy used to be back in the day not anymore yes 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 because we're paying for it if we stopped paying for it Tyrese Gibson's mother in the movie baby Boy. oh huh. I gotta look her up because the name sounds familiar the name sounds familiar. I thought, I thought, baby boy. I gotta look her up. I will look her up, Lindsay. Yes, yes. I have bought um I bought three purses from the real rail. And there were some others that were starting off and then they went away because people were not being as honest and stuff with their stuff. But um I have Quite a bit of designer handbags. Um, I have a Dior saddle, which I had listed for sale on um, Poshmark. I have the camera. I call it the Cameron Diaz Fendi bag because I, I that's the only person I saw with it, and that's when I wanted it. And it's a Fendi bag. It's limited edition. The le the leather it looks like um like a bird like bird feathers, but it's not. It's actually leather fashioned to look like bird feathers. And it flips down so it can be worn under your arm like this, or you could take the handle, pull it out, and wear it like under your armpit. Then I have um, calfskin printed Fendi. Um, it's not a Zuka print, but it has like, um, it's a teal and like brown, and it looks like the saddlebag, right? But it's, it's flat. Um, and that's when Dior, that's coming back now, the, the Zuka print, but this one is the shape, the shape um, that kind of looks like Africa, but it's not. And then um, I have a Balenciaga. I only have one Balenciaga bag, and that is, um, what is that called again? It's the one of the city. I have a city, and I wanted the one with a really long strap, which I forgot the name of it. And then I wanted the one that looks like a bowler bag. Forgot the name of that one as well. But I decided against getting those because Balenciaga leather, the lambskin, which is what I like, or the goatskin I like too, but the lambskin. The more you use really expensive bags, if the leather is soft, your skin, your jeans, and stuff would mess it up because it's against your body, you know. And I like, I like big bags. So yeah, but yeah. I like designer stuff. I just don't like paying that price. But the real, real, I'm definitely um, going to look into getting some more pieces. When I move, you know, um, if you look at some people's videos, they've got all their shoes laid out and all that stuff. I don't. A lot of my stuff is in boxes. And I'm a big fan of things that are functional. I have shoes I can't wear because once I sprained my ankle um, a few years ago, I sprained my ankle and it swelled up and stuff. And so one of my foot, it's still, my ankle's very, very weak. And so even when I'm running, I have to be focused on how I put my left foot down. It's my left foot. You know, when I'm running, I have to make sure that, you know, so that it doesn't, my ankle doesn't go wonky. But anywho's, um, yeah, you know, I'm, perfumes, they're doing it the same thing. Talking about cost effectiveness, guys, I pulled two out here. So I have two of the fragrances that happen to be, um, Things the ones that from Dossier. I guys, y'all need don't sleep on this company. <laughs> I will not steer you wrong. Do not sleep on Dossier fragrances. If you are able to get your hands on Oriental Cherry, it will help your original Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. It will help it last a little longer. But I enjoy wearing this fragrance, and my family like it too because nobody. I I spray the crap out of this, and as you can see, you see. 
and I do use this a lot. It's one of my favorite. And it doesn't smell 100% like but like lost cherry. I would say it smells, to me, it smells maybe about, to me, it smells like maybe 75, 80%. But then when my family came here for Lizzie's um, graduation, I sprayed it on their arm and they told me it smelled exactly alike initially. And then when it dried down, it smells slightly different. So they could pick up on it as well. But they said it was still very similar. So Oriental Cherry by this here is a great fragrance by Dossier. I keep forgetting that you can't see because of my lighting. And then this one is Oriental Sage, which is the inspiration for F Fabulous. This one is also good. Now, this is very dry. Think of dry gin um, or a whiskey that's dry. You know, an alcoholic drink that is dry, you know, it gives a different effect than an alcoholic drink like a, a, a Moscato that's um, one of my favorite Moscato has like that wet effect to it. This, this, this here. It smells really, really good, and it's cost effective. You can get these fragrances. I think it's just forty nine dollars, and it lasts. It stays on the skin when it fades away. It gives that honestly. It gives just straight up. It's very masculine leaning, and I have the original F and Fabulous as well, and I like it. My husband likes it. Initially, when I sprayed it on his head, he was like, "It's okay," just like that. It's okay. About five minutes later, I was like, "Honey, you smell great." He's like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> He's like, yeah, and I was like, boy, are you tripping? Yeah, but this is another one. So we talked about Frederick Mal. This is Carnival Flower. This is a really, really good fragrance. I think it's one of the popular fragrances in Frederick Mal's lineup. This is by Dominique Rupion. And these two right here, these are by Dossier. In fact, almost all of the Dossier fragrances, some of them I'm, I'm not big fans of, but the majority of the ones that I've tried so far, I'm really digging, especially as layering fragrances if you like to layer if you want a fragrance that you don't care if it spills if it breaks because of the cost if you want a fragrance that's easy to take and then the, the, the this is magnetic guy that's magnetic so when i tell you remember i was complaining about somebody having a plastic cover okay magnetic that's the way to go right I traveled with, no, I traveled with this one and Powdery Hawthorne. Those are the two that I traveled with. Powdery Hawthorne smells like Metallique, or I think it smells like Metallique. And I had a little bit of sample of Metallique remaining. So that's why I think it does smell a little bit like, no, it does smell like Metallique. Mm, these are good. Dossier. Okay. So let's move on to another fragrance that I think is, it's not one of my favorites. But when I looked on Fragrantica, this, this fragrance here, guys, OMG, it's one of the most popular fragrances besides Ani. Everybody talks about Ani, 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 Ani. Hey, body, body. What's how that sound go? Making the stallion. Body, Ani, 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 Ani. <laughs> no, this isn't Ani. This is Monegu. And this is by Nishane. This fragrance right here is one of the stronger fragrances and I, in my collection. And I would not wear this in a hot summer. No, no. This is grown folks, sexy, smells sexy, like sex sexy to me. Um, very spicy, heavy, thick. Um, I wasn't expecting it at all. And I keep thinking to myself, Pam, you don't like this. You need to get rid of it. And every time I pull it out to get rid of it, and I put it, I literally put it in the basket. I have a basket of, a couple of baskets of to sell, to sell, to sell like that. And I'll go back and I'll smell this bad boy and poof, it comes back up. My guys and gals, this here has orange and cedar in the top. Most of the times fragrances have cedar or wood in the bottom. Then the second row, like your mid notes, it's like spices, heavy spices. You've got nutmeg, you've got cardamom, you've got um, cumin in there, a little bit of ylang ylang, and then some geranium. I think other perfumers would have probably put the geranium and the ylang ylang at the top because this right here is overtaken with spice. Just if you like spicy, you may like this. And it's thick and heavy. It's also. The amber is there, but it's not a pretty amber. This is boss. I gives two, you know what? This is what this fragrance does. I don't know. It's, it's still not one of my favorites in my collection, so I may still let it go. But um, 
Let me see. What's the rating? 4.09 with only 167 votes. So that's pretty high for such a small amount of people. Top notes are orange and cedar. Middle, I already told you guys all of that. But it's heavy, heavy, heavy. To me, it's a heavy fragrance. A lot of folks say, wow, it's niche. When you think of niche, this is one of those fragrances because with niche fragrances, it shouldn't really smell like designer fragrances or celebrity fragrances. That's niche fragrances should not smell like that. They shouldn't smell like a, I could go to the store and pick up, um, you know, a bottle of gas or a bottle of uh, Gucci or no, when you say you are niche, you should smell different. And I think this is niche straight out of the box. No excuse niche. It really is challenging. It's one of my most challenging fragrances in my collection. Okay, let me see. I'm missing some notes. I am so, so sorry, guys. <laughs> yes, I was dancing. Yes. No, no, I have not. Mm -mm. I have not. Which one are you asking about how much it costs, Susanna? If you're asking about these, they start off for $29. The um, Oriental Sage and the Oriental Cherry is probably like $49. And you get a lot. It's 1.7 ounce. Yeah. In my opinion, uh, they're really good fragrances. If you're asking about these, they start off for $29. It's Dossier. You can go to Dossier site and you can look at the different prices. And I used to be like, you know, uh, you know. But once I started playing around with these fragrances, I'm really digging them a lot. And even my daughter noticed that when we travel, we've been traveling every weekend. This is the first weekend we haven't traveled in some time because, you know, looking for a home and stuff. And she literally was like, you smell good. And I literally had on, excuse me, I had on, no, not the sage. I had on the Oriental Cherry and I had in my purse, I had lost cherry. So we're in the car and I'm freshening up. We were like three hours into the ride and I had the perfume on early because I had gone to work early in the morning and I'm freshening up and she was like, that perfume is nice, mom. It smells good. I said, you know, this is a different one, right? She's like, that's not the same one from this morning. So even if she couldn't tell, you see what I'm saying? So I think it's like, if you have teenagers that are graduating high school, you don't need to be buying them the Tom Ford, buy them dossier. <laughs> Yes, they start off at 29 and they go up to 49 and you have Joe Malone, they have Tom Ford, they have um, uh, Diptyque, they have um, they have different companies, Chanel, and Mandy Glam did a video the first time and she said that the Chanel smells just like the Chanel Gabrielle, it smells just like it. Her daughter loves Dossier fragrances. So no, you're not late, you're not late, Abina, hi. We've been chatting up a storm. I'm late because I've been talking about everything under the sun but perfume. <laughs> okay, so speaking about cost effective, check this out. Oh, this, my dears, this right here, these used to be really, really expensive. This is Robert Graham. These used to be hell of expensive. They are no longer hell of expensive. You can find Rob, Robert Graham fragrances at discounters, you can find Robert Graham fragrances at Macy's, Markdown. You can find Robert Graham, Robert Graham fragrances now, or maybe TJ Maxx. I haven't seen them, but I've heard people say they found them there. My TJ Maxx haven't had them, okay? So, check this out. Hey, Joan, I missed you coming in. Hi. Check this out, guys. Presentation, eh? I have to be careful because I have dropped it before. Right? Look at that. That's a bulldog. This is one of my favorite from out of his four offerings. I like three. Like, no, I love three. Okay, this is Robert Grimm. I want to say this is Courage or Velour. This is Velour. And then I have the more aquatic version, which is Courage. 
again, you don't have to break the bank. Okay. Great. You know, I have worn this one to sleep. Okay. And 42. That's another one. I don't have, I have 42. My husband has a travel set for 42, but this one here, look at that. Look at that. OMG. Tell me this ain't going to look good on a dresser. How sexy is that? Yes. Okay. And it's nice and heavy. Oh my God. I love this fragrance. Absolutely. Mm, I'm wearing some. I love this fragrance. I love the bottle. I love everything. I love the presentation. Mm. Yes. I know I said I wasn't going to spray anything on my skin, but I can help it. Love this fragrance. It is one of the cleanest, sexy fragrance that I know. And I use the word sexy loosely. I know that. But it's one of the cleanest fragrances that I think I've ever come across that's spicy, but delicious. Oops. I never remember how to put the bulldog in. I think you put them like this. Oh, no. You put them to... There we go. You put them to sit out. Right? But great. And they last. My husband prefers Robert Graham over the House of Siage. Yes. He said... Shucks. Oh, shucks. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> you take it out and put it down there. Put you on the side, and I will figure out how to put you back in your box later. Okay? <laughs> I was scary. It's a lucky thing I have carpet. See, this is why you don't want tile and wood all over your house, you know, especially if you're somebody like me who drops things a lot. Yes, 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 yes. Hi, B family. Yes. An exceptional bottle. Okay? That's the thing I like about certain fragrance houses. Robert Graham, even his shirts, right? The collar, the interior of the collar. And then when you flip, the first time I saw Robert Graham was in Saks Fifth Avenue. And this is many years ago. And all his shirts have these, you know, like the design. Love it. Love his fragrances. It has like a soap. This one I like because it has like a soapy, clean, sexy, spicy vibe. And I like this one, like I said, and Fortitude. I really like that one as well. Fortitude and what's this one called? Valor. And then the other one that he has is this right here. I gifted my husband, the man in my life. <laughs> I gifted uh, Robert Graham because I think that Robert Graham is a great, great, great fragrance house. And I'm so sad that they no longer make them, but I'm glad they're in discount sense. So, you know, you can find them at a discount. This one, look at this. Even the small bottles, right? Check this out. Even the small bottles. This is a 3.4 ounce. Look at that. Honey uses this. As you can see, he, he uses this, okay? And look at this. This is red and like a dark blue. And then the name Robert Graham is at the front. This is actual leather. The atomizers are awesome as well. They have this nice gunmetal look to them. They're really, really nice, guys. They're really nice. Mm. Now, this is not my favorite. This is a very fresh fragrance, and it has like a creamy, salty. If, they're, if those two can be put together... Yes. If those two can be put together, creamy and salty, that's what I, the vibe that I get. But it's also slightly aquatic as well, ozonic. All of those things you hear in other fragrances, that's what I get with this. But I, I know when a fragrance is kind of salty and creamy and stuff like that because it, I get like, well, I call it the egg smell because it's fresh, like salt. If you've ever been to real salt water, you know, like you go out in the ocean, right? It has a slightly fresh scent to it not like fresh water but fresh like salty and fresh because there's you know the whales and all that stuff is in the water you go to the beach and stuff and it's salty water you would smell that that that's what i get the vibe when i hear aquatic my mind takes me right back to that whether you're on a pier or whether you're sitting on a um like if you're on a pier or you know you go out on a boat you know and 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 that air that fresh sea salt type of air that's what I get with this, but it's refined and such that it becomes beautiful. And so, yeah, that's what I think about this one. Again, not my favorite because it's not a vibe that I really like. It's pretty, but it's not It's not for me. And I think this is a great unisex fragrance because there are a lot of women who like this type of vibe. 
you know, aquatic, fresh, you know. So my my opinion, it's a great um, it's a great combi not combination unisex set. So let me put her back. Nor I am dropping everything. So that's Robert Graham, and that is Courage. And all his fragrances, Robert Graham's fragrances, has a story behind them. If you look it up on Fragrantica, well, you can just Google it, and it will tell you. So let's move on to one of the uh, houses that I just recently got into, and I'm actually really liking. And this here is by Tom Ford, and this, my dears, is Shanghai Lily. Uh, there we go. You can see the name. It's got a nice dark, I want to say it's a dark brown bottle, like a brownish gray. This is so pretty. This is a fragrance that's in my, it's a lily. You could smell the lily, but it has like a smoky, a resinous vibe to it. And you'll notice that most of the fragrances that I'm saying that are unisex, they have like a, a spiciness to them. They're nothing that smells regular schmegular. <laughs> I don't even know if people say that anymore, regular schmegular. <laughs> Shanghai Lily. I almost bought a I almost bought a large bottle, but then they said they couldn't ship it. So this one here, um, because it was a carafe. This is warm, spicy, ambery, it's floral note. It's got some smokiness to it, like I mentioned earlier. It's also balsamic. It's got some white florals to it. Now, this fragrance, one of the things that I think it makes it complex and one of the better ones from Tom Ford's offerings is that it's got like a host of spices in there. So when they said spices and warm spices, they were right. They're talking about spicy notes such as black pepper that's in there, you know, cloves. That's a good one, right? You've got black pepper, you've got cloves, you've also got guayac wood in here, you've got castorium vetiver, you've got albanum benzoin. Mm -hmm. And the floral notes are none of those. It's, I don't see, I see rose in there and I see like bitter orange in there, but nothing like crazy, not, like not a whole bunch of mango and mandarin, nothing like that. It really is, in my opinion, spicy, aromatic a little bit. But mostly spicy is what I get. Spice and I can I can smell the flowers. I don't I don't get the bitter I don't get the bitter orange. Not so much. Not that freshness from from the orange. More like a sourness to it. But I really like this a lot. I am so happy I purchased this. Now this bottle is small as head. These one point seven bottles. You know this is the itty bitty bottle, but it's good. Okay. And that's a great unisex fragrance. And that's Shanghai Lily by Tom Ford. Mm. Hi. How you get, Joan? Okay. So, guys, check this out. We talked about Cardinal Flower. But I'm not, I have several Frederick Miles here because I think Frederick Miles fragrances, to be honest with you, I just got into it. And I am scared that I go deep, 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 deep deep, deep into it. My wallet can't handle it. But um, this one here is Portrait of a Lady. <laughs> Another great one. And it started, I started freaking out because I noticed I was putting a dent in it. Look, guys, when I say I just got these fragrances, I meant I just got these fragrances. And I've already put a dent in them. A lot of people say they, they don't spray a lot of these fragrances because it turns beast mode, especially carnal flower. I will tell you this. I spray about five, six on my chest, sometimes eight, five, six, seven, eight. Then I spray it on my neck because I don't take them to work with me, right? I always get scared I'm going to drop my bag or something's going to happen. But anywho, I really like this fragrance a lot. I did not think I would, but I really, really enjoy wearing this fragrance. It is one of the better offerings. And again, look at the designer. It is Dominique Rupion. And that's why I said, I think that I do have an affinity to his fragrances. I think that Dominique Rupion, it could be that tuberose. Let's see if this has tuberose in it as well. I don't know, but I am just really enjoying Dominique Rupion's creations. And I think that Portrait of a Lady used to be a really hyped up fragrance. Um, I don't know if it's very hyped up anymore. I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comments. Oh, guys, if you are enjoying this content, please make sure you hit the like button. If you're getting value out of the information that I'm providing to you, please also hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel.
And then after the video comes off, you know, you can watch the replay. If you're coming in the middle or you miss anything, you can watch the replay and make sure you let me know you were in the live or you watched the replay and that you enjoyed it or, you know, anything you would like to say. As long as it's respectful, I'm good to go. So Dominic Rapion created this for Frederick Mal, which is Portrait of a Lady. Mm. And I was wrong. It's not Tuba Rose that I'm liking. Apparently, Pam loves Rose. But I knew I liked Rose. Pretty. It smells bougie. Point blank, period. It smells bougie. I don't even think Nathan, that's Nathan's word. If, if bougie had a smell, <laughs> it would be Portrait of a Lady because I can smell the rose right off the cap. I can smell some of the patchouli, but I smell that incense vibe. I smell almost like it wants to lean more Middle Eastern, you know, like a Middle Eastern rose. That's what I'm getting with this. Yeah, yeah, Portrait of a Lady. Really love this fragrance. Great unisex fragrance. Both men and women love this a lot. I think um, one of the things that I really like about this is that when I put it on, I was wearing it and I was, I mean, I did overspray, but I got comments. I was, I love it. I love when people compliment me, but everyone's like, oh, you smell nice. You smell nice. What is that, man? What is that? What is that? And I was like, oh, it's Dominic Rapio's portrait of a lady. It's by Frederick Mall. I felt so special. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I sure did. I, I, felt, I felt special. Okay, so this is <laughs> so if if you want to invest in a good fragrance from this house, and if you like rose, you like roots, you like spices, you like warm spices, you like something that smells a little different. It's not the typical Dior fragrance. It's not the typical. Um, I won't say Lancome because Lancome's Maison France, uh, Maison Lancome line is really good. I've got a lot of those too. But um, I think if you want something that smells niche, in my opinion, Portrait of a Lady is a good one. A niche rose. Let's see here. Hey, Court. Hello, hello. Yes, 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 yes. So this one still smells good. Oh my gosh, that doggone. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> It is so good. It is so good. Okay, so the Tom Ford fragrance, I will say I agree with you, Moschino. I agree with you. I would say yes. Tom Ford fragrances doesn't have as much longevity on my skin either. So a lot of times I tend to take the bottles with me. That's why I'm enjoying finding, I won't say substitute, I'm finding other fragrances that are gonna take, I could take with it. But if you're paying this much now, the CCOs, the cosmetic companies, I don't know if they ship overseas. I really don't know. But a lot of those Tom Ford special blends are, are at the CCO right now. So at least you get it for a discount if you're purchasing from the CCO. So that's why I got a lot of my aquatic lines, you know, like Mandarina, the, the Amalfi, um, Florida Portofino, um, those I purchased from the CCO. So I got a significant discount as opposed to buying it from Sephora. So what I do is I use other fragrances to get the longevity of those fragrances. And then because I bought it at a discount, I don't feel as that over spraying the crap out of them and taking them with me. But you are 100% correct about Tom Ford's fragrances not lasting more than, you know, I could get about four to five hours. But when I do get four to five hours, it's because I sprayed a triple, I gave a triple dose. So I went in, I'll do something for like maybe five minutes or whatever. I come back in and do a second layer. Do something for another five minutes or so and do a third layer, right? And you shouldn't have to do that with fragrances for that price point. So I completely 100% agree with you. And a lot of the Tom Force fragrances, I, I the same thing. I hear that. With Shanghai Lily, let's a little bit more. With Shanghai Lily, I find that I do have to reapply her or do a refresh, but not as much as I have to do with the lost cherry. Not as much. Because that I don't know if it's maybe the spices in Shanghai Lily, it lasts a little bit longer. And it's dry. It's not um wet and heavy. So if I were to spend, if I were to say House of Siage or 
this, I would go with House of Siage if it's the same price. So if you get in House of Siage at a discount, I would buy a I would buy a cupcake before I bought this. But it's still a good unisex fragrance, Shanghai Lily. Speaking of speaking of a good fragrance, I'm gonna have to eat crow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it still. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it, but this guy's is by Hermetica and it is Rose Fire. I purchased this and I was going, mm, it's okay. Did the video. I think I posted it. <laughs> and the other day I went back to it and I sprayed it and I was like, holy crap, this is actually pretty strong. I was surprised. This is from a clean company. Hermetica is a clean company. And I think Hermetica, if I'm not mistaken, Hermetica is um, another company started under the umbrella of another fragrance house. But guys, this year, I will say is a great unisex fragrance. It says rose fire. Yes, it's sweet, but when it dries down, it is beast mode. It's unisex. It's beast mode. It gives you a little bit of saltiness to it, but I get mostly sweet. Sweet, sugary, sugary, sweet. So if you are somebody that likes sweet, but you want something from a clean house, meaning, you know, a sustainable house, a house that is a little more conscientious, I would say try, if, if not Rose Fire, you could buy like the sample set and try from Hermetica, their fragrances. I have tried other fragrances that people talk about um, from Target and stuff like that, that are supposed to be clean. Even Joe Malone, you know, clean fragrances and they don't last. This one stays on my skin. I was really surprised. When I say strong, I meant that. I'm talking about the longevity of the fragrance. The Siage was good. My daughter told me, and she she gets migraines and stuff, so she picks up on fragrance very easily, which is a good thing because I have a good sense. My nose is very good as well, but she will tell me if something's going to be bad. Now, she didn't tell me if it smelled good or not. She just said, wow, mom. And I had only sprayed on two sprays. I kid you not. I went like this. Spray, spray, like that. And then I was doing something in the bathroom, came out, and she was like, you know, whole face and everything. Mom, you can try to give me a headache. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, your perfume is strong. I'm like, what? I only spray two sprays. Normally I spray like 25. <laughs> so this is Hermetica and this is Rose Fire. And the bottle is nice too. Again, I don't know if I'm going to hold on to this one yet because I am trying to cull my collection to fragrances that I don't have to think twice. I don't want to work. I don't want to be challenged with my perfume. I want to just love you. I don't want you to court me and pretend that you like me one minute and then the other minute you don't like me. I don't like perfume like that. I don't play games, okay? Although half of the stuff that was in my box to you know, sell when I sprayed it, I was like, oh, I remember why I liked you. <laughs> so that's Rose Fire by Hermetica. Now you guys know that this set the internet on fire last year and this is or was it this year it might have been this year this is italica by zerja i still have my plastic on here because this is white and sometimes i have makeup on my hands and i get it everywhere so i left it on there for now but this is a beautiful gourmand very nutty sweet caramelly vibe a lot of folks try to compare this fragrance not compare but say well should i buy this or should i buy lira I have both and I want and I am happy to have both in my collection. I love them both. I wore Lyra for my daughter's graduation and of course I got compliments. And I came back and I wore this for breakfast the next day and I smelled like the, you know, I didn't order pancakes, but it gives me that vibe. <laughs> You know, like really um, think about you go to a really fancy restaurant and you make you, you you get like a, you know, you can tell the difference between clean food, you know, food that's made with clean, clean products as opposed to, you know, like, you know, heavy sugar and stuff. And so organic, that's the word I should use. And so a pancake that's organic with hazelnuts and, you know, I like nuts and nuts inside of it and stuff. And then the maple syrup is straight directly from, you know, like Canada. And it's just nice and clean, you know, and it goes down. It doesn't give you heartburn, you know, all of that kind of stuff. That's what I think of. And then, or an ice cream, an ice cream, like um, a pistachio ice cream or ice cream with almond and hazelnuts in it, you know, a vanilla based ice cream. This is so doggone delicious. It is absolutely delicious. I am so, so happy I bought this. Every time I open it and I sniff it, I love it. And this is Italica from the Cosmarty line by Zerjoff. 
I don't have a lot of Zershoff in my collection. Um, I would like to buy more, but again, remember what I said earlier, you know, I'm not going to say one thing and cross myself. There's no need for me to have a million bottles of perfume. So I am just trying to cull what I have and just keep what I love. Nothing that I have to work with so hard. That's why this one here, oh my gosh. This is really, really good for a guy who likes sweet. This is just a not a, this is not a good niche, 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 point blank period. Nothing smells. I don't have anything that smells like this, even though I thought I did. And I went through looking and I, you know, I was like, well, maybe it's this, maybe it's that nothing in my collection. This is straight up niche. <laughs> Speaking of niche, I got to pull this one out. And this has been getting a lot of play in my collection and you don't need a lot. Okay. So as you can see, mine is this is a 10 mil bottle. When you do like this, it looks like I haven't used a lot, right? Because the glass at the bottom fools you. That's just glass at the bottom right here. But when you do like this, you get the full and you can see mine is about here. So I am, I've already used up one third of this 10 milliliter bottle. And this is Soul Cafe. Guys, this is by Savoir Faire. This is a black perfumer. I am telling you, this is a beautiful, beautiful, fragrance. The only other perfumer, niche indie perfumer in my collection that knocks this one down a notch, the only one, Maison de Darius. That's the only one, Notorietta. There is nobody in my collection that's niche, that's indie, that can touch Notorietta. Nobody, how Keith Sweat used to say, nobody. That's how his voice is, right? Nobody. <laughs> Notorietta is, she's that girl. That she should be in this lineup. I forgot to bring her because I thought about her. Nobody else can touch Notorietta. Soul Cafe came, came in second place, but not by, not close. Okay? Soul Cafe is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You get a little bit of citrus, you get a little spice. If you are a girl or a guy and you like sultry and sexy fragrances and you want to support a black perfumer, my dears, it's always sold out, I know. You just gotta keep your eye on them. Soul Cafe by Savoir Faire. Go to savoirfaire.com and Chris, I think it's Chris Classic is his name. I don't need a full bottle of this. <laughs> okay, I'll take that back. I might need a full bottle. <laughs> okay, you stop purchasing Tom Ford. Okay, that makes sense because of what Machina was saying earlier. Okay, after this video, Shilpa, after this video, what I'm going to do, I had started writing down all the fragrances and I just kept switching them out. So after this, after we're done here with the live, what I'll do is I'll go back in and I'll put in the description, I will put down all the fragrances we discussed today, okay? Because my whole list kept switching around. Even like five minutes before we started, I switched out some. Okay, so I'll make sure I have a list on there for you. Siobhan says, stop. Oh, this ain't nothing. I got some friends that rival, I can't even compete with them. Yes, yes. Muse and Soprano, delicious and very intense. And I thought about, well, she know, there is a Muse on um, Fragrance Net right now. The bottle is a little different. It is this color, but it's by a company called Sospiro. And Sospiro is actually what Zerjoff used to be, I think, or another company of Zerjoff or something like that. And every time I go to buy it, I'm like, is this the same use? Because I remember you mentioned that before. So I will, I'm thinking about those two as well. So those two right here, which is Muse and Soprano, the two that I've been looking at because I like, I like sweet fragrances. I also like aquatics, um, fresh, fresh fragrances, but fresh fragrances that has sweet, like a sweet base to it. I don't like sour. I don't like sour. I can do sour if it's mixed with sweet. 
and I can do um, sweet and spicy. But Moshina and I have very, very similar fragrance tastes. Um, I absolutely love rose. Um, I absolutely love all my, all so far that I have in my possession, my Arabian Oud. And I cannot do a list, a unisex list, without talking about Madawi. Oh, bloody MG. Mm. And they had a sale the other day. And I slept on that sale. Well, I was I was actually doing my schoolwork, trying to catch up so I wouldn't, you know, fail, turn my stuff in on time. So my focus wasn't perfumes. My focus literally was on getting my schoolwork done. But Madawi, Madawi, Madawi. If you like sweet, if you like slightly smoky, if you like, um, if you like oud, but oud, in my opinion, done right. It's not screechy. It's not heavy. When you smell oud bouquet, this I get a little bit of oud bouquet, but somehow oud bouquet is kind of like um. This is like you know the makeup that's just enough. <laughs> Oud bouquet is like when I put on too much makeup. <laughs> Oud bouquet is gorgeous, but in my opinion, I think Madawi is better. Although Oud bouquet, you put Oud bouquet on, it will stay on you for three, four days. Madawi would stay on you for two days. If you put Madawi on your clothes, if you put Madawi on and you go out where it's windy, it will, oh, yes, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Let me just get a little bit of you today. Yes, it's gorgeous. It gives me that. Uh, it's pretty. It's just a pretty oud fragrance. Pretty, pretty, pretty fragrance. And I love the bottle. I love the bottle. This is all plastic. It's not like metal or anything like that. So I know that um, I thought it was because it's so hefty. It's so hefty. I didn't realize it was plastic. And it's slightly magnetic. Um, but... This is fruity, a little bit, a little bit of wood. Mostly, I get the oud and sweet. I love this fragrance. That's all I got to say about that. Love it, love it, love it. A sweet oudy, uh, if you, all through the year, but you can wear this during the summer as well. Madawi, and that's by Arabian Oud. Now, I cannot do a list without doing Paolo Terenzi, okay? This is Quinta Canto, and this is... This one, which one did I pick up today? Both of them I have are nice. This is Stramonio. Stramonio smells a little bit like Baccarat Rouge 540. A little bit. A little bit, okay? Um, Baccarat Rouge 540, I go announcement to it. I, I like the fragrance. It's just I go announcement to it, which makes me upset because then I can't smell it, but other people can. Um, but Stramonio, I could smell more and but it does go away very quickly meaning that i can't smell it after about three or four hours i cannot smell it and then it appears all of a sudden and then i can't smell it again so what i do is i spray it on my chest and then i have a shirt on so that will absorb the spray i don't wait for it to dry before i put my clothes on excuse me i spray it and then i put my clothes directly on so then it absorbs into my clothes as well and then i spray it behind my neck if i'm wearing long hair it will definitely stay in my hair for a long period of time okay and this is Stromonio by Quinta Canto, or people say it's Vicanto, it's not, it's Quinta Canto, okay? And the bottle is a beautiful velvet cup bottle. I've been trying to purchase Trichnina. I found somebody on Fragrantica who was selling it, and by the, you know, I was at work and stuff when I saw it, and by the time I got home, I forgot about it, you know, because life happens. And so, you know, that's the other one that I want. I want Mirabelle and I want Strychnina from Quinta Canto. But I love this fragrance. It's a great, great, great unisex fragrance. And it's great for men and women. I know that a lot of people think that the burgundy bottles are just for women. It is not. It smells great on men's skin as well. The pheromones, let me tell you something. It blows up, okay? Lovely. I'm still I'm still sniffing. I'm still sniffing the dog weed. <laughs> And, and Portrait of a Lady. Yes, Portrait of a Lady has a, the rose and Portrait, of, that's what it is. I couldn't figure out what it is. Portrait of a Lady has a slightly metallic vibe to it. The rose has a slightly metallic vibe to it. 
Now, I must say, I can't do another video without talking about Kajal fragrances. Now, everyone's been talking about um, the Hob and Lamar, and you know, I am talking about the original Fida. Okay, the whole line is called Fida, but I just have the original Fida, and this is Kajal fragrances. This bottle, look at that, stunning, gunmetal, heavy, heavy in the front, heavy in the back. The plate, it's a frosted bottle. Okay, and as you can see, your girls use some up, you know. This one here has a sugary vibe to it. It's a simple, in my opinion, it's a simple fragrance. If you're looking at Kajal and you're not so sure because it has like, most of the fragrances has the Middle Eastern vibe to it. My favorite right now is Jihan. I have received sample of the Hob, which I know that I want a full bottle of that. I have not smelled Jewelry and I have not smelled, there's like three or four I haven't smelled, but the Hob I like. Um, Lamar is also nice. But everybody's buying it. And so if everybody's buying it, I might ask them if they want to sell me half a bottle, you know. Because <laughs> what's the point in buying a full bottle? They might get tired of it in like six months. Yeah, but I still love this one. This is very simple. It's it's niche, okay? Fida is niche. It smells sugary, but not too sugary. It is a good fragrance that is unisex, primarily because it is not a fragrance that you, you smell on somebody and go, oh, that smells like a female fragrance. So, oh, that smells like a guy's fragrance. No, sweet, it's vanilla, it's got fruity vibes to it, amber, tobacco's in here, it's got anise in here. I love fragrances with anise. I think that, I, I don't know why, but I do. Leather is another note that I'm finding that I really, I, my nose is really interested in. Um, the fruits, when they talk about fruits, they're talking about, think about a fruit basket, grapes, pineapples, um, car, um, cantaloupes, melons, you know, that type of stuff. So it's a mixture of berries and regular like melon type fruits, you know, so that watery vibe you get. And then it's got tobacco and leather in the middle. And then in the end, you've got tonka beans, you've got vanilla, you've got um, tonka beans, vanilla, amber, musk, and it's got a little bit of citrus there with the bergamot. But I will tell you guys, this is a really, it's a really complex fragrance. It's very easy. It's very easy going. It's not pretentious in my opinion. And I love, love, love. This is really sleek and to me, very, very modern packaging. And I really like that as well. Not too many, you know, it's not like, y'all see, I got a whole bunch of cupcakes back there. And, you know, so I'm, I'm into like the extreme and over the top type of stuff. But this right here, I love this packaging and it is heavy. It is heavy. So that's Fida and this is by the House of Kajal. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. Hold on, guys. How do you say? Hold on. I want to keep singing all day long. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I feel like it. There we go. Let's see here. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I am missing comments. Till next time. Gotta go. Oh, bye, Courtney. I'm sorry. I missed you, my dear. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mirabelle is nice. Okay, you've got Mirabelle. Yeah, I'm not so impressed after you use that. Oh, okay. All ages love it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, me too. Mm. Talila, bye. I miss Talila. I miss Talila leaving. Okay. So let's see here. We've done one, two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 already. So I will just do one more fragrance. And I did the this one here, which is Stromonio. And I have to talk about this one here. And this is Lynche by Tiziana Terenzi. I wore this earlier this week and I loved it. I wore it to work. This is a sweet, fruity fragrance as well, but it's not too heavily fruity, if that makes sense. And during this time of the year where it's nice and hot, I've been telling folks, try putting your fragrance if you know you're going to wear something and it's like um, a fresh fragrance, even if it's not a fresh fragrance, put it in the refrigerator and put it on your body and that cooling effect of your body warming up the fragrance. So it's weird. it's like a juxtaposition. You put the cool fragrance on your body, right? You're going out into the heat. 
You put the cool fragrance on your body, or you can wait till you get out in the heat. And then your body is warming up, not just with the sun, but your body's temperature, right? And you'll notice the way the fragrance changes. You start paying attention. It's like your mental, your mental starts physically paying attention. So I think that that would be pretty awesome. So, hey, Pedro. Hi. Greetings. Yeah, so this is Lin Che. And this is by the house of Tiziana Terenzi. Now I have six, six or seven Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. Actually, I have more. But the ones that I tend to wear quite a bit are the ones from this line and from the, um, is it the Luna, Luna line? I think it's what it's called. I tend to wear a lot of this. And initially I was going to bring out Spirit of Fiorentino, but everybody talks about that already. We all know it's filled with leather. It smells like Baccarat Rouge 540X straight except it smells stronger in my opinion um just as it, they're both pretty so if you have both of them that's fine but i wanted to bring something out that not a lot of people are talking about and that is lynche so and drama people talk about so lynche is a good one if you have not gotten your nose on a fruitier vibe from tiziana terenzi you might like this one and the lights washing it out it's l-i-n-c-e let me bring it back can't see the lights washing it out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. I am working on trying to get my lighting together. It's If I'm looking good, I can't show things. If I try to zoom in up here, I can't show it because it doesn't, um, it blurs me out. So I may need to get another webcam or try to figure, when I move, when I move, I get my sh together. <laughs> I get my sh together. Okay, so that's Lin Shea from Tiziana Terenzi. And so I do have one more. And that is this one here. This is Wild Python from Ansara. I cannot do a video of unisex fragrances. This one is Beast Mode. You put this on, they don't know you coming. Okay? Can't overspray at all. Well, you can choose to overspray. I did. <laughs> I regretted it. <laughs> I regretted it. But guys, this is beautiful. This is a nice to gross fragrance. It is um, a heavy fragrance. It's tuberose, which is a flower, which you would think is lighter, but it's it's heavy. You have to be careful spraying this. I love the bottle because it looks like a crocodile and not a snake. If it was a snake, I would have freaked the heck out. And as you can see, I have shared this with some of my friends, um, you know, made like little samples for them and stuff like that. That's why it's probably down. Let's see. Let's turn it upside down here. There we go. You get a true sense of where it's at. So I'm about, I've used a quarter of this in my use as well as sharing it. And some people like it, some people don't. But for me, I think Wild Python is a really good fragrance by Mansara. It does get a little screechy if you overspray it. Like I said, I regretted doing that. And so you have to be very careful about this fragrance. It is a sexy fragrance. If you like florals, if you like white florals, particularly tuberose, you would probably more than likely like this. It is bold and it is in your face. It is not a fragrance that's just going to go away. If you put this on your clothes, it will stay there for a week. I promise you it'll stay there for a week. That's what happened to my uniform. Yeah, it stayed in my uniform for the entire week. My car smelled like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the last one, last unisex fragrance of the night. And this is a Mancera's Wild Python. This is under $100. Mancera is a niche house. It's affordable. You get 120 ounces for under $100. And then there are a lot of people who resell them too. So on the fragrance groups and stuff like that. So that's my last one for tonight. And that's Wild Python, my Mancera. Guys, again, if you can find this type of stuff informative, if you like these type of fragrances, uh, these type of videos, these type of lives, sure, let me know that by hitting the like button and then commenting down in the comment section, not here, okay, down in the comment section so that I can see your comments as I go back to see who's watching the replay and things of that nature. Some of you asked me for uh, more makeup videos and stuff, and I'm getting those take a little bit more time, but I like doing those because somebody like me at my age, and a lot of times people, you know, they, they the makeup is not, it's not for my skin. You know, when I'm doing a swipe, my eye and my skin is moving with the doggone <laughs> brush, you know, so I makeup for my age group, my eyes, my type of hooded eyes, not, not. Somebody that looks, thinks they have hooded eyes, okay? So 
I like doing those type of makeup videos, but what I do is I speed it up a little bit so that you're not bored listening to me. I try to anyways, but some of them I have coming out. You'll hear me talking a little bit. I have some random vlogs coming, chit chat and stuff like that. Um, blogs about other YouTubers, things that's going on with them and, you know, just random stuff. I just want to mix it up a little bit. And I hope you enjoy that type of content that's coming to you. For the month of July and August, I am getting ready to move. So I'm going to try and post as much as I can. I'm not saying I'm not going to post and I'm not going to say I'm posting a whole heck of a lot, but you will notice random notifications. So please, on my channel, if you are subscribed to me, please, if you're not, please subscribe and then hit that notification bell that says all. When you hit that notification bell that says all, you will see my community posts. So my last minute videos, my last minute lives, you know, when I get time, I was like, oh, let me do a live. You know, you will get notified because I don't have Instagram. I'm not on there right now. So that's the way you will find out that Pam's doing a video, okay? Or I'm doing a live. So please make sure you hit that notification bell that says all so you'll be notified, okay? Um, if you were here for the first time, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for joining. I really, 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 truly appreciate you. I truly appreciate all of you. Don't forget, the 25th is the last day to enter the giveaway. You must watch the giveaway video on YouTube and comment under that to enter you. You must go over to Twitter and TikTok and say you want to be entered as well. But if you're not entered under the YouTube video, I can't do the raffle. That's how I do the raffle thingy. I do, it's like an automatic thing. All the people who says a certain, I put a certain phrase in there. That's why I tell you what you have to write. I put the phrase in there and I let it go and it picks a winner. So if you want to have a chance of winning, and I'm telling you now what the winnings are. The winnings is over a hundred bucks in cash, PayPal or Cash App, all right? It's over a hundred dollars. As a matter of fact, it's a paycheck that I received, and I was so happy when I hit 5000 I got that paycheck, so I added those, you know. I said, that would be nice to give back to somebody who has been a part of my crew and whatnot. So if you're a new person, in order to get cash from me, you know, you got to, that's why I'm doing this giveaway. It's a 5000 subscriber giveaway. Go look for the video. It's It'll be in my description um, under here. Look for that video, and then put, do just follow the rules and i after the 25th i will let the, until midnight on the 25th anybody can go ahead and enter how many many times you want to enter all right and then on the 26th and the 27th that's when i'm going to compile the names i have to do my checks and balances my qc make sure that the people that are on facebook i'm sorry that are on youtube are on tiktok you know that type of stuff I have to do that. I have to literally hand do that. And once I'm done with that, then I'm letting that thing go. And then I will announce the winner a few days later. So guys, please, please, please. So far, I'll notice only like four people on my, um, last night, it was just four people, only four people had said the phrase, enter me into the giveaway. They had gone over to TikTok and did this. Only four people had done that. A whole bunch of people on TikTok says, enter me, but they didn't come over to the YouTube channel. They did not subscribe to me on YouTube. They didn't do any of that. They didn't, they didn't do it. So I am just putting that out there, please. If you're, if you want to win some free money, if not, One of the four, <laughs> we'll get it, okay? So that's how it is. All right, guys, look out for my videos. I got some videos for coming, like I said, some vlogs, makeup videos are coming, chit chats are coming, random chit chats. I was inspired by also Neo as well as Tina, the fancy face to do those vlogs. Um, I'm also gonna be doing a lot of lives while I'm driving, you know, YouTube lives, I'll pull them up while I'm driving and just chat. Those will be like five to 10 minutes, not very long, but I plan on bringing things to you because I really love chatting with y'all, okay? All right, Pam fam, this is all. We've been here for, so, let's see, in a 6.30 for an hour and a half and four minutes. So, actually, no, two and a half hours. Whoa, that was long. Okay, guys, <laughs> happy Father's Day again to everyone. Happy Pride Month. Thank you so much for joining me. Love you all to the moon and back, and I'll see y'all in the next video, okay? Bye. Mm -hmm.